Hi, welcome back to the VoiceOver Village. I'm Rick McIver, your little handyman. Today we are going to uh, craft, DIY, build a ventilation system for the VoiceOver booth. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, go and look at this video right here that talks about how I ventilated before and what this actual thing is being used for. Then come back here and watch how I put it all together. But this is how it works. So here is the video of me putting it together. Let's get to it. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a big ass fan. You're gonna need some dryer hose. Uh, you're gonna need this thing, which is an essential component to make it work. And then you're also going to need some duct tape and a X-Acto knife to cut the holes in the box. Let's see if I can actually pull this off. We're gonna wanna save this box and use it for later so we can't just destroy it and open it like crazy. We have to be a little delicate. Good to me, good to me. Box. I think it's because it's airtight. I'm like really pulling. So I have our box. This is an important box. We're gonna put this on one side. I guess kind of center it, sorta. Because the hose goes in here, this goes into the box, the box goes to the fan. Hopefully. Maybe I need a marker. Okay, you know what? I need to sit up a little bit. It might be a little bit out of frame, but I need to see this better. Alright, so we're gonna mark our corners. Here we go. Side. Gonna connect these. There we go. Nice. We have our hole. We're gonna cut out. Can you see it? Right there, the black hole. Let's cut it out. Safety first. I have not done this before, so if it fails miserably, I apologize. Carefully cutting. Sheboygan. Take the first. This is a test, big test. Ah, it fits it perfectly. What do we need to do now? We do want to keep as much air pressure in the system as possible. Which means a little duct tape never killed anybody. All right, now we need to trace around the fan for this side. This side's got our hole. That's the intake. No, this is the, uh, our fan's gonna go on this side, so this is gonna be the intake. There's our fan. Ooh, it's gonna be a tight one. I'm gonna try to draw a little line here. Let's cut it up. I feel like I should tell you a story or something while we're doing this. Remember when you're cutting, always cut away from you. That's a scout thing, I don't know. But I was always a huge fan of the show Mythbusters. And so maybe this is my homage, if you will, to uh, the Mythbusters. I need a sidekick or something. I need like a fun sidekick person. Safety first. Safety first. Oh, voila! Now we have our step up box for our fan. And it's gonna go something like this. Like that. And it's, it's kind of, I have a little problem with the power cord. Let's do some duct taping. This is really high tech stuff. Now we're gonna seal it up. The goal here is to secure it to the box, then seal the edges up. So when the fan is blowing, it's gonna be blowing out this way. Right? We're not forcing air into the hose, we're actually pulling air from the booth. So this fan needs to exhaust this way, but all the pressure that's inside the hose and all the things that come, comes through, right? So we can keep this nice and sealed up so that the pressure stays in the system rather than leaks out of everywhere. So that's why we're sealing this up all the way around. If you can, buy the extra sticky duct tape. It's a lot more fun. Uh, the bottom is halfway sealed. That side, that side. The top is... See, like I just gotta do the corners. Just the corners and we'll be ready for the other part. This fan is attached to this box really well. So now I can take this hole and I can actually put the little ductwork thing on it. This sits right here, right in there. 
Perfect. Ooh, that's a fun sound. Ah. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, so there it is. It's not complicated. You just use some duct tape, seal up these edges really well, like that, and put on your cowling in the back here like that. Seal these edges up really well. And when this turns on, it really moves a lot of air. It's loud as hell, so you gotta get it far away from your booth, which is where the dryer hose comes in. To see how this whole system works together in ventilating my booth, check out this video right here. I hope this has been helpful. Until next time.